All right, so a couple of porn stars go to get tested for STDs. They come up positive. The testers tell the porn company, and that's it. They're fired. Now, the actresses are suing for invasion of privacy. Because, you know, porn stars have rights, too, don't they? Joe Biden is back at it, this time picking a fight with a custard shop owner. And there he goes, putting the vice in vice president. And you won't believe the new rule on the International Space Station. Seriously, you won't believe it. Let's just say they don't want liftoff. All the stories people are talking about and everything you need to know right now on The Filter. Hello again. Off the top, The Filter Forefront, our top four of the day, including should the government determine if you're drunk before you start your car? But let's begin with this. The Supreme Court confirmed this today. The Second Amendment guarantees the right to bear arms. By a 5-4 vote, the court ruled that you can have a handgun at home for self-defense, even in cities that until now have outlawed handguns. It's a great day for the NRA, but their fight is not over. They won't declare victory until any law-abiding citizen can go out, buy a firearm, own a firearm, protect themselves with it, and use it for any other lawful purpose. Our contributor tonight, Ron K. from RonKLA.com, and our pictures are furnished by Skype. Ron, here we go. In the big picture, do you think it's important for people to own a gun? Well, I think it's great if only law-abiding people own guns, had to pass tests that they knew how to use them, maintain them, secure them. Uh, the problem is, is that when you get a lot of guns out there, uh, most law-abiding people don't feel the need for one. It's people who are up to no good. Um, you know, people get in fist fights, people even get in knife fights, but, you know, most of those things don't kill. Guns kill when people are careless, when they get mad, when there's a gun handy, in rage, and they get into the hands of criminals. The trouble with what the Supreme Court decided was um, there used to be, for much of our history, it was only in the hands of militia and officials and police um, who at least were trained and, and were expected to obey the law. Uh, the problem is we all know that the criminals have easy access to weapons, and what they've done is to make it very hard to control it, to keep it out of their hands and only in the hands of the law abiding. Well, let me flip it around because the NRA would tell you, yeah, the criminals have the guns, and if that's the case, I certainly want the right to protect myself. I need one, too. Yeah, well, uh, you know, you might have that right, but the... The danger is, is that for every NRA member, there's probably a hundred people who aren't. Uh, I, the only time I ever had a gun in my hand was when I got drafted in the army. And, uh, I, I've never fired a weapon or held a weapon any other time in my life. Uh, if I had my way, we'd ban guns all across the world and even cops and soldiers wouldn't need them. We'd all live in peace and harmony. And I know that isn't what's happening in this world. But it comes down to, uh, I understand the NRA's position, um, but most people don't have guns and don't want guns around their homes. Uh, it's criminals who are up to no good who want guns. All right. Now I want to move on here because I'm going to put you on a jury. And if you were hearing this lawsuit, how would you rule? Two adult film actresses are suing the company that provided AIDS tests for supplying the results to producers, okay? In essence, telling them, don't use these people. They have AIDS. Then there's this. Anyone who paid $200 could access the company's website to check test results. Obviously, a way to streamline the process, but they're suing for invasion of privacy. Their medical privacy has been violated, even though it's the adult movie industry. Ron, should those results be kept private? Well, it certainly should be, uh, and, and used very judiciously. I understand the goal is to keep HIV, STD diseases out of the porn industry. Um, but, you know, think about it. Uh, journalists, uh, historically at least, were drunks. Uh, should they have alcohol tests and should every employer at every job interview uh, be able to get access to their medical records to see what the past record of the person is over a long period of time? No, of In course In this case, not. my... Hmm? No, no, of, course of course not. not but but let, me, let, let me suggest this, though. In this case... Sexually transmitted diseases, AIDS, HIV, could kill someone, could kill them. Being a drunk couldn't kill anybody. No, but there's surely there's ways of verifying that a person is clean at any given point and had tests without making the records posted up online for anybody to be able to see who's curious, who's in love with the porn star, who's 
who's a pseudo producer or whatever, um, you know, the, they they give medical tests when people apply for jobs often, and and um, the full record isn't available to your employer, but it's 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 they are certified that you're a healthy person. Uh, and that's what I don't understand about it. I understand the intent and the protection, um, but it just seems to me that they're coerced into signing documents that make these records available very widely, very easily accessible uh, as a condition of employment. And and that's very rare, very unusual. I understand the unusual nature of their work, such as it is. And, and um, at the same token, there's surely a better system than just putting it up online for anybody who pays the fee to see. Yeah, I would agree with that. I, I understand the importance of the producers and the industry finding out who is healthy enough to act. But just to blanket it online where for $200 anyone can see really kind of says to me that is an invasion of privacy. Seems now, that way to me, too. All right.